Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I remain yours truly, Grace Ogioke, your number one to yourself advocate, and also in love with your master. Yeah, you see, every time I do a video, I tell you I'm in love with your master, right? And I'm chilling one, and this business has really been good to me. I'll give you a full detail of all your details because I've always believed in doing business that I feel is right. You can only find me doing business that is positive because my father taught me well that a good name is better than any riches in this world and I always like to practice that. So friends, I'm sure you're wondering what we're about to learn today. Well, I'm about to teach us how to make quality hand wash. Yes, you heard me. Using very unique formulas. I'm also going to teach us how to package it in a very attractive way. And guess what? We're going to do the cost analysis today and also the profit maximization of this business. So stay with me. You see, before I go on today, I'd like to sincerely appreciate every one of you that has sent me a thank you message and prayers of blessings. Appreciating every little effort, every little skill you've learned. God bless you too. Your prayers have been in verse and I really appreciate you too. And, and sincerely, one of the reasons why I always advocate for everyone to go learn a skill is partly because of the unemployment crisis currently happening in our country. I really want you not to be tied down by what's happening, but also to leave. And you know, getting a skill and having money enables you to leave well. Thank you. You see? I always try to just follow the news. I'm not a politician, but I try to keep myself, you know, abreast of what's happening around. And um, recently, I came across a story, actually, on Guiding Newspaper, talking about uh, the prediction of our Labour Minister, Dr. Chris Nicky, telling us that by 2020, the unemployment rate is likely going to increase. So, uh, I'd like to also read part of that news for you, if you don't mind. Extracts from the guidance newspaper talking about the Nigerian unemployment rate as predicted by our Minister of Labour, Dr. Chris Ngige. It says here that Senator Chris Ngige, Minister of Labour and Employment, said this while declaring open a two-day workshop on breaking the resilience of high unemployment rates in the country on Thursday in Abuja. He said that the incident increase of unemployment in the country was alarming. According to him, the high unemployment rate of 23.1% and underemployment of 16.6% by the National Bureau of Statistics NBC of 2019 reports was alarming. It is a worrisome status as a global poverty capital World Bank 2018 and concomitant high prevalence rate of crimes and criminality, including mass murders, insurgency, militancy and robbery, kidnapping and drug abuse, among others. As if the situation is not scary enough, it is projected that the unemployment rate for the country will reach 33.5% by 2020 with consequences that are better imagined if the trend is not urgently reversed. It is a thing of joy to note that Nigeria has not been resting on our oars over the years in terms of dedicated efforts to curb the unemployment problem, he said. Now, despite all the government's efforts to help us curb unemployment, me and you know too well that there are millions of graduates out there roaming the streets and even becoming hopeless. A good number of the employed are actually underemployed, meaning they are being paid far less than what they ideally should be earning. Please. I do not mean to scare you today, but what does this story tell you exactly? It tells you just one thing, that your certificate alone is not enough for you as a graduate in this country. Because the truth is, a lot of graduates have become hopeless while waiting on some kind of white collar job because they refuse to take their destiny in their own hands. They refuse to go learn a practical skill, a skill that could go fetch them some money. Honestly, 
I really do not know your financial standing. And that's the truth. Because you may be well employed, but you know how money and expenses is. You may be thinking of an extra source of income. You may be thinking of what to do or what kind of skill to acquire. I just advise you to go learn a skill, anything at all. Like I told you, I like to advocate on what to go learn a skill. So it could be anything. But today, I want to teach us how to make a quality hand wash using a unique formula, something that stands you out from the public. A hand wash you can easily make now and can supply to schools, to restaurants, to hotels, even to homes. You can start from your label. So just pay attention and let's get right into it. Our chemical for today's productions are We're doing seven liters today. Now, the first on our list is our natural soap. For today, we're going to be using 1 over 16 kg, and it actually costs 300 naira. Remember, I told you we're going to be doing the costing and the profit. The second on our list is our SLS. I'm also going to be using 1 over 16 kg because of the liters involved. And I, today, the amount for this is 200 naira. Now, the third on my list is a Texapon. I'm going to be using one of the 4 kg. Now, this is this goes for 600 naira. The fourth on our list is a perfume. I'm using lemon precisely today. You know, it has a very good fragrance for the hand. So the perfume I'm using today is just 15 ml, and um, this is 400 ml. The fifth chemical on our list, and guess what, you'll be surprised to see this coming. It's salt. Yes. I'll be using salt for today, and um, for 7 liters I'll need 500 grams of salt, and we all know that's like one of the cheapest chemicals you can get. Seventy nine. Now the last on my list is my color. My color, just a small wrap. I'm using a small wrap. And this goes for fifteen and a half. But I intend to use three different colors, so you can times this by three. So let's go right into it. Ideally, I'm supposed to be gadged up, my gloves, my mat, but you know, because today's production is a very simple one, and I'll be very careful in doing it. So before you is my 7 liters of water. I indicated on the board that I'll be using 7 liters. I'll be doing production of 7 liters. So this is actually 7 liters of water in this transparent bottle, bucket. I mean. And the first I'm going to be pouring in is a natural soap. Now, in here... You have exactly one over 16 kg, as I earlier said. The scale tells us better. So that's the first thing I'm going to be pouring in. For those who have watched my liquid soap production, you know it's the usual routine. I cut. Okay. And I stand. I'm supposed to do this for 10 to 15 minutes till I get the texture in. In the bowl, you stir, you continue to stir until you see, you know, until you see it ticking itself. So we've stirred for close to 15 minutes now. As you can see, our natural soil is gradually getting thick. The next on our list is our texture corn. Like I said, we're using one of our 4 kg for today. And here before you is exactly one of our 4 kg. So that is what we're putting in next.
This is going to be one of the simplest hand wash we've seen. In goes our text upon as you pour in your stair. Ten to fifteen minutes. So we stirred our texapon for close to ten minutes now. In here we have our nitro soul and our texapon all mixed up. As you can see, on the piece of the project, in place. It's been ten minutes now. As you can see, our texapon is right in here with in our nitro soul solution. We have our nitrosol and texapon mixed up together in this 7 liters of water. You can see our hand wash is gradually taking shape. So the next on our list to add is our essence. Remember I told us we are using one of our 16 kg, which is what we have here. So we are going to put it in. Like I always say, please try and practice what you've learned. It's not just watching me practice it. I'm saying this because I want you to learn. It's part of the skill we talked about. So, as you pour, you step. As you pour, you step. This is one of our 16 kg in 7 liters of water. Measurement is always very important in making any production at all. So, we're going to do this for the next 10 plus minutes again. Now, we've stayed for a little over 10 minutes. And as you can see, our SLS is well dissolved in here. This is 7 liters of water containing nitrosol, texapon, and SLS. The next we're going to be adding for this production is our salt. Now this is 500 grams, like I earlier said. But it's most likely we're not going to be using all. We also may be wondering why salt. We all know the role of salt plays. Salt is a strong preservative. It's also a disinfectant. A lot of us who buy our fruits, we prefer to use salt to actually wash it. But you're going to see the magical effect this will have in your hand wash. It will serve as a preservative and also serve as a thickener for this hand wash. So watch me as I gradually pour in this. I'd like for you to please come close and take a close look at what salt will do to our hand wash. Now, look at this hand wash now. It's not so thick as we've seen it, but watch the effect of the salt on it. I told you it will serve as my kidney. And as soon as I get the desired result, I will stop. is gradually getting heat. So for those of you that don't know the power of salt, this is one of it. It's a strong thickener for most chemical production. This is one of my secrets and I've shared it with you. Continue to stir until you get the you know quality you want. You get the texture you want. Some don't like your hard wash so thick. Some like it a little bit thick. So once you're okay with the thickness, you can stop pouring your salt. I'm just gonna add a little more. Even though I've See your hand wash is already thick. That's the effect of salt. So never take it for granted. This is just 79. As you can see, our hand wash is good to go. The last thing I added here was our salt. From our list on the board, we requested that we actually said that we're going to use 500 grams, but um, like I said, while mixing this, I said depending 
on how you want the texture of your hand wash. So, so far, from the remaining of our salt here, you can see, I think we still have about 120 grams left, which tells you that in here we pour 380 grams to get this texture. And believe you me, this is good. This is beautiful. So the next thing we're going to be doing now is to divide this. I told you we're going to be using different colors. I like to always spice in mine. I give mine different flavors. So I also want you to experiment that stand out. This is one of the things I do to stand out. So you're going to watch me package this one product in three different colors and three different you know sample containers to give it a very unique look. As you can see, we're done with our hand wash almost anyway. So it's time for us to add in our colors. If you remember, I said I was going to be dividing them into three because I have three colors I want to work with today. And I want you to look closely. Everything you see here is something I easily got from my kitchen. So you don't have any excuse to say, wait until I get something. Mm -mm. Just start now. Practicalize and let's see if you've gotten it right. And I also want to say thank you to some of the students who sent me their videos on liquid soap. It was amazing. I love the fact that you put it to work. God bless you. So let's get this done. So right here i have my color pink mixed up in just a little water i'm going to be adding my pink in here you pour gently until you get the desired result and if you want it too pinky you can add more and once i see that i'm okay or well, satisfied i'll just stop I don't necessarily always have to add all the colors as mixed. I'm sure you're loving what you know this looks like. I see how thick our soap is. I have wash this. Sorry. Wow. Please don't forget to send me a video of what you did. I'd like to see them. Practice makes perfect. Don't feel shy if you don't get it right. Just watch the video again until you get it right. So I'm going to add a little more. So this is good to do. I think I'll stop you. Or maybe I should add a little more. Just a little. Mix till the color blends in well with your production. Mix, mix till it blends in well. And as you can see, this has blended in well. I'm likely going to add a little bit of water eventually because I want for it to you know, enter my containers very well. That's the effect of salt. That's why if you notice, we didn't use all the 500 grams as listed earlier. So the next color on my list will be my orange same thing applies here just keep pointing you get the desired results you don't necessarily have to add all the colors so it doesn't look funny remember this is what you want to go present to your market out there so please be mindful of the color be mindful of your measurements. We're going to add little water in all, just very little. You can see it's actually very thick. So, in other words, rather than using 380 grams of salt, we're going to stop at 300. For those of you at home trying to practice, in my case, I have used 380, but I'm going to add little water so it will fit in my container. For you that you're about to start, please just stop at 300. 300 grams is enough for the seven liters of water. So I think our orange is going to go. I'm just going to add a little more. And that's it. Just there. We blend it well. So this is also ready. And next on our list. It's the last but not the least one of my favorite colors. 
now this is purple. I mean, you wondering how I got this. Some chemical shops don't really have purple outright. So what I did was I actually mixed blue and pink and it gave me this. So you could try it in case you go to a chemical shop and they don't have color purple directly. Just tell them to give you blue and purple and pink rather. So you can see our purple looks good. It's one color I think is usually scarce, but I've now told you the secret. I'll also teach you other mixture, other colors you can mix to get you know beautiful results. That is if you stay tuned. And I want you to, because I really want you to learn something. Anything good that will fetch you money. So I think our purple is good to go. I'll just add a little more, and that will be it. Yeah. Okay, so we'll mix, 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 mix. As you can see, our production is a little thicker than expected. So what I intend to do now is to dilute the three with one liter. I'm going to share them into equal parts. I'll put 300 meal in here. Another 300 meal in here. Maybe 300 mil in here, and I'll add the last 100 here because this looks like it's bigger than the two. So we'll stir at least just lighten it up a bit. So now our hand wash is a little lighter and better now, so it could be well packaged. It's time we add our perfume. I earlier said I will be using lemon. You know, when you're actually doing hand wash, it's always advisable to use fruity perfumes. You know, things you could easily relate with. This is hand wash. So you use, you know, perfumes like your lemon, which is what I'm using today, or banana. You could use peach. You could use strawberry. So that it will leave that long-lasting smell. We're talking about hand wash here, and you really want to sell your market. I wish you could taste this. This is really good. This is lemon. So because I have just lemon, we're going to use the lemon for the three. But if you want to spice it up and give yourself a different flavor, you can add strawberry here. You can see it looks even like strawberry. And you can add banana in here and you can add peach in here. It depends. But for today's production, I'm just going to use lemon for the three. I'm going to pour a little in here. Mm, this is beautiful. And I'm also going to pour a little in here. Your perfume is always the last thing you pour in before you package. Please... I'm going to emphasize on that. The last thing you pour before you package. Wow. Wow. So, it's time for us to package our production. Remember, I need a feedback from you. Send me your video and tell me so that I can see what yours looks like. I wish you were here. This really smells good. It sure smells good. As you can see, the production is set. I have before you our hand wash production. We all made it together. So, but there's something I want to explain to you here. Take a look at this. Tell me the truth. If you see me approaching your office, don't you want to buy this? Don't they look very beautiful? Yes, they do. I'll tell you that. But I want to also explain to you something. I intentionally use three different containers for this packaging. And here's why. You see this one here that I same with this one. This is the normal one you probably see in the market. I got this for 100 now. But if you're buying a dozen and above, the price actually goes down. Now this gold plated one, I got for 200 now. And the reason why I'm showing you this three is this. Depending on where you're supplying to. For example, you could go to schools and schools will say, I know we're going to live by hand wash for maybe 300 or 400 now for one. Then I advise you to use this kind of container for soft supply. You could go to Hilton and they tell you, you know what, give us a carton. My sister, use this because this actually stands out. The gold plated nozzle you're seeing here makes it look very unique. But depending on where you get your contract from, you could say you're going to a hotel. Hotel will tell you, yes, you could buy for 500, use this. And that's why I chose these three different ones. There are also the other unique ones, but this is the one I mostly use for my own supply. So, this goes for 150. Take a look because of the nozzle. 
and they all have different functions on how it actually releases from the container. This goes for 200 and this goes for 100. So you can see our stickers are in it. Like I told you, branding again is one of the things that stands you out. You know, the sticker is clearly, and my sticker is different from each of the bottle. You have purple sticker here, you have orange sticker here, and then you have the pink sticker here. My other stickers, actually, I like to put different flavors, but because I know I used just one particular perfume, you're not seeing it here, but be creative in your own stickers. So, from this reduction. So the next thing that we're going to be doing now is to do our cost analysis. How much exactly did it cost us to get all this? Now, come along. From the very beginning, I told you the quantity I used, the cost I got them. So if you sum total this, this is three, this is five, this is one, one, this is one, five, this is a thousand six twenty. That is what it cost us to get seven liters, but we all know that we added one more liter, so our production now is eight liters actually. So you want to go supply. How do you know how much you intend to tell your your customer? Remember I showed you three different containers we used for this production. Take for example, you decided to use this container. And please bear in mind that they may look different just because of the nozzle, but they are all the same size. It's actually 500 milligrams. These containers are all the same. So take for example, you might want to use this. And then to get... Um, the quantities that will fit in our 8 liters, you'll be needing 16 bottles of this. And each of this is 115 naira. So if you're doing 115 naira times 16 bottles that will fit in your 8 liters. So like I said, depending on the container you choose for your supply. I mean, take for example, we're doing this. And like I also said, we'll be needing 16 bottles of this to fit in our 8 liters. And I told you I got this for 150 naira. So you're going to times 150 naira times 16. That is going to give us 2,400. So here we have A, container A, at 16 times 150, which gives us 2,400. You might decide to use container B, which is the gold plated one, the gold plated nozzle. I told you I got this for 200 naira. So for this, you're also going to be doing the same math. Container B, you say 16 times 200 naira. This will give us 3,200. You might choose to use this. This is container C. And like I said, it's 100 naira. The same math applies here. You say 16 times 100. This is 1,600. The next cost you also want to be considering is your stickers. For me, I did this for 30 naira each. It could be lesser in your area, but what it cost me actually is 30 naira for each of these stickers. And so the next thing you're also going to be considering is 30 naira times 16 bottles. It's also very good you get your cost in mind so that you know how much you could tell your client. So the next is our stickers, which is um, 30 by 16, that's um, 480 naira. So this is clear enough. Depending on which container you settle with, depending. Say for example, you're settling with container A, which is 150. You sum total this, plus your sticker, added to the cost of chemicals. Let's do that experiment. So let's say I decide to make a supply with this. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I will add my 2,400 here and also add my 480 Naira here. You sum total this, this is um, 0, this is another 0, this is 1, 7, this is 13, this is um, 17, now 4,700 Naira. So 4,700 Naira. So, depending on your choice of container, like we said, we have been able to get um, the price for container A. That is 1620 for the chemicals, 2004 for the container, 480 for the stickers. 
No, this is not going to be 47. This is going to be 4,500. So this is for the first container, depending if that's your choice of, you know, supply. Now the next is, in case you want to go with this particular container, this cost 100 now, it's still the same as you bring the cost, which is 1,600 for the container. You bring the cost of your chemicals, 1,620. You bring the cost of your stickers. This is 480 now. Pardon me, there's no space, but we're just trying to get our cost in, right? So this is zero. This is 10. This is 7, this is um, 13, and then this is 17. You bring one here, so. Yeah, so this is 3,700. 3,700 for container, container C. Now, in case you choose to go with the gold plated one, container B, it's 200 now for one. You do the same math. So that gave us 3,002 for the container for 16 bottles. 3,000, so you bring your 1,620 and you bring your 489. So you take this zero, this is another 10, this is 3, this is 9, this is 13, and then this is 4. 4,300. No, this is 5,300. 5,300 is the cost of supplying using container B, which is a gold plated one. So at the end of the day, you can see that it will cost you 5,300 to supply 8 liters in 16 bottles if you use the gold plated container. And if you decide to go for option C, which is a 100 naira per bottle container, I already showed us what it looks like. The cost would be, like I said, 16 times 106, so you definitely have to the cost which is 16 cost of chemical 1620 cost of seekers 489 some total gives you 3700 now we have been able to identify how much it costs us for the chemicals how much it costs us for the bottles the different bottles and how much it costs us for the stickers now let us go to the selling options if you ask me especially because there are different kinds of containers and you know different clients you could meet Take for example, you might want to sell this one at 150 per bottle, which is um, which we got at 24. This is the one for 24, if I'm not mistaken. So 4,500 is what it costs us to make 8 liters of this. Each is 500 mil. I'll advise you sell like say 500. Remember, the cost of producing this is 4,500. You want to go supply? I will say 500 times 16 you're likely going to have about um, 8,000 naira 8,000 naira for the entire supply and then your profit if you move 4,500 from 8,000 naira it will cost you 3,500 as a profit you're likely going to make 3,500 naira for supplying 16 bottles of this and the more you supply the more gains you know that comes your way or if you choose to go for the gold plated one, the cost of doing this particular supply will cost you 5,300 for these 16 bottles. And then um, if you ask me how much you likely should sell this, I'll say 600 naira. And if you do 600 naira times 16, you're likely going to have 9,600. So if you remove your cost of reduction, which is 5,003 from 9,600, the profit there should be about 4,300. You're likely going to make 4,300 for supplying 16 bottles of this. Or you might decide to go for the 100 naira per one container. This I would suggest you sell at 400 naira each. If you sell this at 400 naira each, you're likely going to be selling it at um, 6,000 naira. So this is going to be 400 times 16, which gives you 6,400. Sorry. So if you remove your cost of reduction, the entire thing for using this container cost us 3,007. So if you remove 3,007 from your 6,400, you're likely going to have 2,700 as your profit. About um, 4,300. Profits for supplying in this container is about 3,500. And profits for supplying in this container is about 2,700. Remember we're talking about 16 bottles of each of this. Okay, we're done. I'm sure you noticed that.
I've given you the best advice. I've given you the best, all the skill I know about handbooks. I've just shown it to you. This is my secret. This is what I do. Now, in terms of your selling price, it also depends depends on your client. So, in your area, you could you know it could be very competitive. So, I won't want you to hike your price, especially if you're just starting. Even if it's one two naira you make, these things your profits are in the numbers. So long as you have a good product, so please. Make sure you get your costings right so that you don't, you know, kill yourself with your own gun. Just get your costings right before you be able to determine what your selling price would be. So, but uh, I, I want to encourage you to just take the step first. You might not really get all the profit at first, but when people know you for a good product, they will always come knocking. And that's one of the things that has helped me. Because I supply what is good, it always helps me and I always get a second phone call. And then um, don't be surprised if your hand wash turns out a little bit different from this after 24 hours. Don't supply immediately after you do this. Give it some time to settle. The after color you see here will amaze you. So once you're done with this, you are now settled for at least 24 hours before you go do your supply. You will love what it will turn out to be much later. Guess what? The long awaited training guide I promised you. It's ready. It's out. In fact, it will be released in a very short time after now. One of the things I love to do is to pass down knowledge. You may be wondering why I'm doing this. I've done a lot of free videos. I get it. I was mentored. And then the woman who taught me is more like a senior mom to me. And I love the way she carried me by the hand. And be sure that she impacted this. Into me. In fact, when she watched my first video, she was really impressed. And I'm trying to give back to the society. And I told myself, though the manual, the training guide took me time, cost me money, whatever, I will make it as affordable as possible. It cost me a lot of money to acquire all the skills. I won't lie to you. I paid a lot of money, but what the hell? I look at my people out there. I look at people call me. In fact, the messages I get is just. It's mind blowing that people will always pray for you and bless you and complain. In fact, some will tell you, I don't even have money to eat. So, this is me telling you how to get money to eat, how to get money to look good. And in this training guide, guess what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to give you some secret methods that I use. Yes, I'm going to release it free for you in that guide because this secret method I should have charged more. This training guide should have been so expensive. But no, Wahala, I want you to take a step. Your testimony is one of the things that will keep spoiling me up to do more. So I'm going to teach you different methods on how to do spirit-based or water-based detour. I'm also going to show you the different formulas for making liquid soap. I'm also going to be showing you the different commercial formulas you can use for each production. What that means is... On each production, you're going to have the commercial formulas, you're going to have the personal formulas. It depends on wherever, just as I showed you here, the constraints and the different secret methods we can use. I'm also going to be showing you cost estimates, just as we did today. How much it will cost you to do any production, how much it's advised for you to sell so that you don't, you know, have a problem with pricing in the society, especially wherever locality where you are. I'm also going to be showing you the little difference between cold water starch and spray stars. It's just a little different, just something small that differentiates the cold water stash and the spray stash. I'm also going to be showing you a method on how you can dry your basso fast. Yes, anybody who knows how to make basso knows that it takes you days for you to really get it dry. But I have a secret to uh, you know enable your dry of your basso dry really fast. I'm also going to be showing you my training guide, product summary, the marketability of each product. You know the products that you should likely start that will start giving you profit so all this and more is what i am going to be impacting or what i'm going to be sharing with you my training guide i'm just saying it's ready get ready because it's time for us to make some cool money how to make a good quality hand wash and i've also told you that my training guide is available now but don't be surprised that some will still tell you i don't have money I know that excuse will come, but listen, I've shown you about three videos that I'm not mistaken, how to, the functions of your chemicals, I've shown you how to make a good liquid soap, I've also just shown you how to make hand wash, using, you know, 
equipment I got from my kitchen. So you don't have any excuse to say you don't know where to start. Start with this. Supply the little you can. Raise a fund that will enable you buy the training guide. You know why? You've only learned two. We have 20 different eight, 20 different beauty and sanitary products that I want to teach you in that training guide. And uh, another addition is my 247 response. I'm sure you are amazed on how quick I respond to every of your chat. Yes, that's because I'm following your success story. Your success is my own glory. So together, we can make it in this country, despite the hardship of the economy or whatever they are saying. We won't fall victim of it. So let's empower ourselves together. Basically, in fact, I just want to do what I've never done before. I usually do one-on-one -on -one training. I go to a lot of seminars and I impact this and I know how much they pay me. And that's the truth. I'm not bragging about it. I get paid huge for this. But I also want to impact in people's lives because, yes, someone blessed me and I want to pass that blessing now. So you know what I'm going to do? Of a truth, we have over a thousand students already who watch my videos. But I want to first work with the first 50 people, especially those who will say they don't have money. I had a prize in mind for my training guide, but maybe it's the spirit of God. Yes, it has helped me tame this, so I am going to sell this training guide that has 20 different beauty and sanitary products that I want you to start producing from today for 5,000 naira. You heard right, 5,000 naira. You know what that means? It means I am teaching you each product for 250 naira. I didn't even learn with that. And if you go to places where they teach, I'm sure you know you can't get for that price. But that's why I'm here. I'm not just me giving you a training guide. I will carry you two by the hand because a woman blessed me and I want to pass that to you. I want you to wake up. Don't depend on your husband so much. Don't blame the economy. Don't leave the federal government out of this. This is me encouraging you to take a step. 250 naira for each production. But that doesn't mean you should call me and say, okay, madam, I want to repeat. Mm -hmm. some, some Nigerians can be funny. You're going to get the training guide. You're going to get my 247, you know, assistance. Just, I'm a phone call away. My numbers are always on, on the screen. So the next thing I want you to do is just click on the link below to order your book. Remember, the first 50. If after 50, trust me, because I need some time for myself, I need to do other things, I need to conduct seminars, and I need to do other personal runnings, I would stop or increase my price. So, if you're the kind of person who wants to like to take steps and you like to work with me, this is the opportunity for you to do that. Click on the link below and get your training guide and then we'll commence business immediately. Good luck. No offense, but you know it amuses me when I see ladies with you know, the expensive hair, the expensive phone. I mean it's not my business, but I want us to be realistic here. And you have zero skill. Like, like seriously, zero skill. Come on. If not for anything, just know how to make these things. Just know how to make something. Because it will really help you in a rainy day. So if you're a man watching this, I probably think this is not your thing. Uh, just purchase the training guide for your wife. If you're a woman, you think you're too busy, purchase the training guide for your younger ones. This is also you trying to impact on this. I'm only just saying this offer can only last for a limited period of time. So if you think 5000 is actually too much, you're going to be here and see that I will sell this training guide for a, a, a huge amount of money. And one more thing I even want to add, for the first 50 people that are going to purchase this training guide, I'm going to do one lucky thing for you. I'll do a video on how you can make your body spray and your perfumes. It's a bonus I'm giving to you. That is to tell you how much I am eager for you to give me your success story. I love all the testimonies I've received. I love the lady that tried her, her liquid soap, even the steps. I love the lady who analyzed chemicals for me. It shows me that we're learning. So let's take this step further. And this is me adding more blessing to you. A free video on how to make your body spray and your perfume for the first 50. First 50. So if you want to be among the first 50, you know what to do. Click on the link below to purchase your training guide. And once I get it, the video and the training guide will be yours. And then my 247, you know, assistance. So that is that for that. And until I come your way next time, for those of us who will be serious, because I really don't like excuses. I don't work with people who have excuses. Don't give me an excuse. I've, already, I've given you the secret of how you can raise 5,000 to train yourself. Sell 
make production of the team you have learned, get money, come and purchase the, the, the training guide, but I'm only doing this for the first 50. So, if you want to see me again on the other side, you know what to do. The training guide is your path to it. But in the meantime, keep being yourself. Don't be so hard on life. Just take it easy. One day at a time. That's my only advice for people. Take it one day at a time. But always, always do something to empower yourself. Don't be a liability to anybody. This is your ticket to financial freedom. Thank you and God bless you.